All right, so good morning from Tokyo. And today, a bit of a different one. I'm gonna shoot much wider than I usually like to shoot street photography. Hang on, there's a composition here, so I'm just gonna take a shot. But I'm using, should face this way, 24 millimeters, which, as I said, much wider than I usually shoot street on. Even shooting 35, sometimes I find myself a little bit out of my comfort zone. So I think, wait for this truck. So the reason I am going for 24 today is, one, I bring this lens with me because it is so tiny. It is a 1.8 lens. 24, I actually really like the focal length, even for things like portraits. Those wider portraits, I actually quite like the 24. And yes, for street scenes as well, except for me, they are a little bit challenging. I do get very comfortable at 50, and it's nice to have that lens that you are comfortable with, your go-to lens that I shoot a lot at. But it is good to kind of test yourself once in a while, which is why I like to shoot some wider street photography as well. I think it can really improve your eye, your composition. So that's my plan today. Found a nice composition here. All right, so I'm gonna keep moving almost to the station here. So I will see you there in a sec. All right, so I've jumped off the train here at Ibisu. This is by far my favorite time of day to shoot in Tokyo, well, anywhere really early morning light before it gets too busy get these nice patches of light and it's just easier to find frames when it's not as busy for me so we have a little interesting patch here but it is so quiet might have to wait a while to get anyone in it Let's see I'll wait it for a minute or two, and then if no good, we'll move on. So I waited for a little bit at that one with not much luck. Ooh, very nice scene behind me here again. But my rule for places like this, if I stop and I'm waiting for something, is basically I'll wait probably no more than five minutes, maybe less than that usually. And if nothing comes, I usually move on exception if it is a really unique frame I might wait around but usually I'll keep moving and realize the shot's probably not that great or worth waiting for anyway but there's another nice scene behind me again I might just take this one empty and move on if no one comes pretty interesting area so far and this is what I really love about Tokyo I've been here that many times and been to that many different neighborhoods Still go to new places like this and it really surprises me. So always something different, always something interesting. So not the most successful morning so far, but it is still young. I'm finding this one quite challenging on 24. I think for challenges like this, if you're trying to push yourself a little bit outside your comfort zone, don't go too far outside your comfort zone is probably what I found because if it's too hard and it's too challenging, you just get kind of over it and it's all overwhelming and you don't end up with anything. If you're finding one lens, it's just too difficult for you. Maybe go not quite as wide if it's for something like street photography. Instead of 24, you might start with 35. I'm gonna keep moving because it's cold if I don't and hopefully find a few more nice patches of light. So one thing shooting wider really helps with is these leading lines or kind of patterns in your frame which you can find. So I've got this nice one here with this walkway and just waiting for kind of people to walk in. I've waited here for a while because there's a couple of different compositions I'm playing around with, but I think it's time to move on to the next one. All right, so as I struggle here to find too many compositions along the river, 
might be a nice time to talk a little bit more about this lens in particular. So this 24 millimeter RF 1.8 lens is a really nice one. I've been in Japan for about a week now. I did the Tokyo Marathon last week, which was incredible. And my wife, Michelle, actually came out here to support and watch, so I was very thankful to have her here. We had about a week together. She flew home yesterday. I didn't take that many photos when I was with her, of course. I still carried my camera around, but not as much as I normally would. Just enjoyed some time together. But I find if I'm just carrying one lens, it's actually really nice to carry this because it's super light. I can fit it in a sling or just around my neck like this and not really know I've got my camera on me. So I'll show some of those photos as I'm talking. But yeah, I find it really nice just as one lens to carry around, especially when you're traveling, it's a really nice travel lens. All right, anyway, I'm gonna head to the station, maybe get a coffee, go to a new location now. So I am back out this morning. It is the next day. I had a bit I had to do yesterday afternoon. So finished up and decided to finish off this video today. And yes, you can see in the background, I found some early blooming cherry blossoms here in Tokyo. These much earlier than the usual ones that will still be a couple of weeks away from full bloom. So this is nice. I thought I would take this opportunity, nice and quiet here to talk a little bit about how I frame or like to look for different frames on 24. It is a bit challenging. I think the thing that I find challenging shooting wider is you've often got more distractions in your scene, you're fitting a lot more in. So there's too many things that can grab your attention. So one thing is keep it simple. I guess my other advice is to look for really interesting scenes or interesting buildings. The thing I really like using 24 millimeters for is those scenes, architecture, nice buildings, and then just placing a subject somewhere in that scene. You can fit a lot more in. For example, here I can fit kind of one nice cherry blossom tree, nice white backdrop here with some light, and just wait for a subject to go into that scene. Hopefully the scene and the subject complement each other nicely and there's not too much going on. And that's essentially how I look for frames with 24. All right, I better finish shooting up here and then I'll probably head to one more location. wrap this one up I did spend a while there at that last spot but it was getting pretty crazy with tourists and people standing in front of cars and stuff by the end of it no wonder people get sick of tourists but I'm one of them I try to be respectful though as you should be wherever you're traveling but yeah 24 good focal length I think it was perfect for that last spot for me, it really is challenging in overall in terms of its versatility as a street photography lens, but for some scenes it does really work well. And as I said, it's always nice to kind of push yourself a little bit outside your comfort zone a little bit and it can really help improve your photography. So that's it from this one. Keep on creating and keep on growing, my friends. I will catch you in the next one. Bye for now.